several built-in JavaScript uh, methods that have to do with the date and time. And you can get those values and then use them to customize greetings or change the style sheets that are showing or basically do anything you want. So let's look at what the methods are. Um, the first thing is to get any of these items, you have to create a date object. So you can call this variable whatever you want. I've called it D for conciseness sake. So um, the first step is to create a date. So like var D equals new date. This is an existing uh, method in JavaScript. Um, and then from this thing that I've created, I can grab the component parts of a date. So um, here's the different pieces you can pull out. So if you call d.getMonth, it will give you the month back as a number. Um, the numbering starts at zero, like most things in computer science. So zero is January, one's February, two is March, etc. So they're really off by one from the month values that we typically use in calendars. So be aware of that. You can get the date, as in like what number day in the month is this, by using the method get date. It will give you a number between 1 and 31. Obviously, if the month does not have 31 days, it will give you a lower number. You can get the year as a four-digit number by writing d.get full year. Um, and so right now, as I'm recording this video, it would return 2016. You can get the day. It will be a number. Um, again, the numbering starts at zero. So zero is Sunday, one is Monday, two is Tuesday, etc. You can get the time. But this one's weird. So if you get the time without breaking it into component parts, it gives you the total number of milliseconds that have elapsed since January 1st, 1970. So probably this is not going to be all that useful for you unless you are doing some kind of timing to see how fast somebody does something. Then you could grab the time when they start, grab the time when they finished, and subtract them, and you'll have the difference in milliseconds between when they started and when they finished. Um, but in general, if you're just showing the date or something, this might not be that useful. Okay, so we can get the component pieces of the time with these additional methods. So d.getHours will give you the hours um, from zero for midnight through 23. So it's basically like military time where it keeps increasing after 12 to 13 for 1 p.m., 14 for 2 p.m., etc. You can get the minutes, which will be a number from zero to 59. So within a particular hour, which minute is it? If it's like 202, then this guy would return two. You can get the seconds within a particular minute. So if it's two o'clock in the morning and two minutes and three seconds have elapsed, then this would give you a three. And you can get the milliseconds, so d.getMilliseconds, within a particular second at a specific time when you ask this to happen. And that value will be between 0 and 999.